Evil Dead The Game gets intense. Whether you're playing as a survivor or demon, you'll need a strategy to complete your objectives and come out on top. Banishing the Dark Ones isn't easy, and you need to protect yourself from the demon's possession. There's a lot to manage, so in this video, we'll go over 7 tips and tricks for beginners to make your experience epic. Starting us off at number 7, first and foremost, stick together. Okay, that's really obvious. You've seen horror movies where the characters can act super dumb and act ask each other to split up to find more clues. As soon as you see that happen, you're like, oh well, nice knowing them. Fear is a core mechanic in the Evil Dead game. As the survivor players explore the map and get jump scared by the demon, their fear levels increase. The higher a survivor's fear level, the easier it'll be for the demon to possess them. That spells trouble for their teammates. Fear is an inevitable outcome of playing the game. No one's coming out of this unscathed, but you can reduce the likelihood of getting possessed by sticking together. A survivor's fear level Level will increase greatly if there aren't any survivors around, and the demon will benefit from this, since isolating a survivor will give it a better chance of possession. So stick together, don't make the mistake that characters in movies do. Next, we have number 6, put that flashlight to good use. The game gives you a gift of a flashlight for your match. It also gives you plenty of indoor environments to take a breath from the outside world and recover from fear. Indoor areas in the game have plenty of loot boxes to take, and several other items that make your experience of the game much better, including matchboxes and pink F. Some of these items only appear when they're lit by a flashlight, so whenever you're looting a house, remember to keep your flashlight on. You don't want to miss out on useful gear and not have it during the heat of a battle with deadites. They get much stronger later on too. Keep in mind, however, that your battery comes with a limited battery life, and it's not like the ones from Half-Life 2 that recharges. Once you're out of battery in Evil Dead the game, that's it. No more flashlight light for the rest of the match, so make sure you turn off your flashlight when you're not searching for items. You can serve it for when you really need it. On to number 5, use vehicles to your advantage. There aren't multiple smaller maps to choose from in the game, there's just one huge map that you'll be searching for items in, and you're on a time limit. Most matches will go on for about 20 to 30 minutes, and you need to banish the dark ones in time, so use a vehicle to get around the map and get what you need. Yes, driving a noisy car car will attract the demon and make him fly to your location, but driving's the fastest and the safest mode of travel when compared to going on foot. Don't make the mistake we did. We died within 5 minutes. Seriously, running through the woods exposes you to deadites and increases your fear level unnecessarily. Sometimes you need to survey entire grey areas of the map to find the 3 map pieces. The game could direct you to a shack, and one of them could be there, but it could also be in the deadites infested woodland area around it. The faster you can survey the area, avoid the deadites, and find the map piece better. So whenever you find a car, hop in and floor it. Bonus tip if you're the demon. Let's say you find the survivors and they're out in the open killing deadites or doing some looting in relative peace. You have the ability to possess a car, so if you find one nearby, go ahead and possess it and ram the survivors like an angry bull. You can also be sneaky, distract the survivors by throwing deadites at them, then possessing the car and drawing driving it far away from them, forcing the survivors to move on foot. At number 4, finish the match, even if you lose. Losing sucks. We totally get it. One of our staff flipped his chair. We calmed him down with the office cat. It always works with Kyle. But hey, sometimes your teammates just run around doing stupid stuff, like not focusing on getting the map pieces, Kyle. There's never enough time, or there aren't enough items. Or maybe you're playing as the demon, and the survivors have everything under control and are swatting away the deadites one one by one, successfully protecting the Necronomicon. Either way, continue with the match. See it to the end, because if you leave a match early, you lose all the rewards and perks gained from it, so you can't level up as quickly. Our advice? It's okay to let the timer run out. You'll do much better next time. Up next, number 3. Killing survivors is tough. This one's for the demon players out there. We know you love tormenting survivors and possessing them to turn them against each other, but the survivors live up to their name. They can can take a considerable amount of punishment and are difficult to put down easily. You can't take them all at once, and even if you manage to kill a few, their teammates can just revive them. They get to be reckless from time to time, and you'll have to be smart when trying to take them on. The trick with the survivors is to get them alone. Try to identify stragglers or those who tend to be more 
isolated and then pick them off one by one. You could see whose fear level is getting high enough and then possess them and isolate them from their teammates. Once they're isolated, it'll be easier to deal with them. It's appealing to leave the survivors to recover for a bit while you fly around, looking for infernal energy orbs to consume, but chip away at the survivors constantly, even if it's minor. Try not to give them a chance to fully recover from anything you do to them. Remember, the few survivors that make it to the summoning of the Necronomicon, the better it is for you. Now for number two, use the one skill point wisely. If you launch Evil Dead and drive right into a match, you might miss out on something minor, but important. The game isn't in your face about it, but each playable character has a skill point that can be assigned from the beginning. Use it wisely and you can get an immediate edge in the match. Just go to the collection screen to assign it. Each character of the same class, whether it's hunter, leader, or support, uses the same skill tree. There's only one skill at the beginning that can be enhanced right away, so go ahead and manually assign the skill point for that skill. It's unclear why the game doesn't just automatically assign it, but hey, whatever the reason, you'll get a better kick out of the game if your player's upgraded right from the start. Finally, number one, remember to level up. It's really easy to forget that you've gotten a stat boost for your character during a match. Kyle's guilty of this too. During the match, survivors can pick up a can of pink F during exploration and looting. Many players might forget to use it and move on. Don't. Using the upgrades you found along the way is important if you want to get a shot at winning the match as a survivor, and it's important for the demon too. If you're playing as the demon, you collect orbs that count as a resource and allow you to set more traps and jump scares for the survivors. The resource also allows you to summon tougher and more powerful deadites to fight the survivors, giving you a better shot at running out the timer or just killing them. So keep the upgrades in mind next time you load up a match. Bonus tip, deal with bosses first. Evil Ash, Henrietta, and the Illegos are the most powerful deadites you can come across. They're an absolute nightmare to battle. The demon player's last resort at throwing everything they have at you in order to put you down. Each deadite is like a tank, dealing huge damage to the survivors and taking even more damage to kill. They need to be dealt with quickly, guys, and you need to focus all your attention on them once they spawn. Tips seven and one will come in handy when dealing with these deadites. One, stick together. Two, level up, level up, level up. The higher your stats, the easier this will be. All four survivors should unite and use their powerful attacks, skills, and weapons to take these deadites down fast. If you're on your own and have no survivors nearby, run. Try and find your teammates before trying to take it on, because you'll probably die fighting it on your own. And these are all the tips and tricks you'd need to beat your next match in Evil Dead the game. We hope Kyle sees it too. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Which tip helped you out the most? And if you're a veteran of the game, tell us what we missed out on in the comments below. And as always, hit the like button if you liked our video and consider subscribing to our channel so you never miss out on future uploads. We'll see you in the next one.